I'm scared of heights. I heard it's lonely at the top. Dying alone is a given, but living alone is not. I'm scared of being complacent. While hoping for something different, then I need a life's worth of photos first before I could figure out what's missing them. Scared of people thinking that I have a boring life, so I delete posts when they get less than 100 likes, and I'm scared that I don't even know if I want to be happy or just find a way to fix it, burn it all down, or if I just need someone to listen. I'm scared of kicking the bucket with a bucket list in my hand. You know, to have grown and withered and still never been a man when it counted most. And I'm scared of being broke and never knowing when I'm rich. Had the benefits of a bag, can't buy time spent with your kids. And I'm scared of revolving doors. How I'll do all the work just to miss the window. End up right where I was before. Never having much but always wanting more. Gave up the life so I could hate mine. Can't make money or make time. And they're wondering why we even moved here for. I'm scared of being 60. With a wife that never wants to get naked with me. Faking a smile at family parties for stupid reasons, like forcing it for the kids as if we didn't already see it. Grow up and then repeat it. I'm scared of change and everything staying the same. And about my hands will do when I don't know what to say. And so I'm always talking, filling dead space, looking for options to fix my problems rather than actually talk about them. And I'm scared of losing the people I love and the people I love losing me. That's why I don't own a gun, drive drunk, or spend too much time on the balcony. I just know how fragile life could be. I'm scared that we could just stare at death and, and laugh. But maybe that's just where we're at. I'm scared that I don't care whether it's you or me. Life is nice. We're just not too attached. I don't know what to do with that. I'm scared that no one will love me unless I learn to love myself. When at this moment, I'm staying alive for someone else. And look, I may not be the biggest fan of me, but honestly, part of me thinks that hope and a reflection kind of helps. And what scares me most is that we don't talk about what scares us, that we share everything but what's behind the camera. And you said you fear the unknown. Well, you and me, we met at random. So maybe this time we don't all feel so abandoned. Because more than heights, I'm scared of being on the ground without saying any of this. Every physical connection ends in separation. Living is a testament to all things temporary. Death, a celebration of inevitability. Our ghosts laugh joyously at our attempt to grasp at time. There is so much more beauty beyond being alive. Those still here search for patterns, sometimes to our detriment, but it is how we write a story. Nature is chaos. A miracle is destruction in cursive, it makes sense. How we try to hold on. But breathing is just another form of energy, an immeasurable rhythm, like the wind, like a kiss, like flowers at graves, and rotting is just surrendering to change. A cycle of giving and giving back, engraved in our bones, we are born knowing that. We are always buried whole. Being half empty is only human. All love comes with long. All love comes with long. All real love comes with long. And so, what an unbearable blessing it is to miss you.